Okay, guys. I know you're real upset because I'm not here today, but uh, you'll just have to stop crying about it and let's get through it, okay? The other thing is, is uh, I'm sick and I can barely breathe through my nose, so it's going to sound funny regardless, okay? So you're working on your foldable book. This is the kind of stuff that you have to have in your book, okay? So let's start with molds and casts. So find that section in your book. Molds you need to have is a hollow area in the sediment in the shape of an organism or part of an organism, okay? And I put cake pan at the end because the mold is kind of like the impression, okay? So like if you're going to make a cake in the shape of, I don't know, uh, Mr. Harris, you would need a mold of Mr. Harris's head that you would pour the batter in. Well, that mold of his head is considered, is, is like the mold, okay? And the way this fossil forms is a mold forms when the hard part of the organism is buried in sediment. So, for example, let's say you got a piece of Play-Doh and you take your hand and you punch that piece of Play-Doh, okay? When you move your hand out of the way, there's an indention in that Play-Doh. That indention, what's left over, is the mold, okay? So molds are the indentions in the rock, okay? And that's the type of fossil you're looking at, okay? Now, the other type is a cast, okay? Now, casts are the solid copy of the shape of the organism, okay? So, for example, if you had a cake or a mold of Mr. Harris's head and you poured the batter in and you baked it, the cake that you take out of the mold would be considered the cast. So it's the, that's what comes out of the mold, all right? And the way casts form, they form when, when uh, water carrying dissolved minerals and sediments seep into the empty spaces of that mold. So you had an organism there, right? Then for some reason, the, uh, the hard parts of that organism break down and go away, all right? So you're left with that mold. Then water rolls into that mold and fills it up. Okay, and then it hardens and it gives you a cast. So these are a couple pictures I've got down here at the bottom. So check these out. So you can see this is the indention. Okay, this is a mold. All right, and then over here you see how this is sticking up just a little bit? This is a cast. So molds and casts, if you look right here, can help us learn about what an organism looks like, how big it is, and any other detail we want to know about the animal structure. Okay. That's what you learn about molds and casts. They tell us the same thing because basically all you're getting is like a, a copy of that organism, all right? So, but remember, molds are the indention. Casts are, are the, uh, the things that stick up. So, again, cake and cake pan. Let me show you this right here. Check this out. Like this. See, you got the cake and the cake pan. The cake pan is the mold. The cake is the cast, just like back here. Cake pan mold, or a cake pan mold, and then this is what the cake is, this is the cast, all right? Hopefully that sums it up for molds and casts.